welcome to the channel everybody now today we're doing something a bit different i'm going to be starting a new series for you now we are in armor 3 and we are playing a mod called anti-stasi ultimate and i have to say over the past day or so that i have been messing around with this mod and finding out a bit about it i've had a lot of fun now i have been playing this solo but of course you can play this with friends online but for now i thought i'd just give you a little showcase so the main aim of this game mode is, as you can see here, NATO has taken over the majority of the island that we live on. Now, there is an invader force that is coming in and they will start to fight with NATO. Now, our job as the rebels is to slowly take back all of this land and push both of these out. Seems pretty simple, but this may take a long time. All right. So this is our current setup for our headquarters in this ruins, but I have been in there and it is not the greatest place to start. So what I'm going to do is come down here and we're going to place our HQ in this area here. Right then, so this is our base. Lovely job. Right then, so first of all, what we'll do is we'll just get ourselves a weapon and some gear. Now, starting off, we have basically nothing, all right. But eventually, we'll work our way up and get ourselves some decent weapons and guns, etc. So we'll do that, and then we go in here, get ourselves some first aid kits, and then in our vest, grab ourselves a load of rounds, a couple of grenades. And some smoke grenades. It's all weird. Right then. So, first order of business. Let's make sure we're all loaded up. Ready. We do have 500 cash. As you can see in the top there. Syndicate money is a 1,000. We have 8 HR. So HR is used to build stuff. Like garrison units. We can put HMG emplacements down. Watchtowers. Things like this. Roadblocks. That costs HR as well as money. With the HR also, we use that to recruit units. So we can recruit units by going to this flagpole. And then we'll just do this and get one medic as well. Leaves us with 50 quid. Lovely. But we do have a squad now. What we'll do with the officer is we'll just request a logistics mission. We'll catch an airdrop. Which is up here. Okay. So, let's jump in here, we'll buy a vehicle, we'll just grab a van, we'll jump in this, and we'll get everyone to get in, get everyone to get in, obviously now, we're all unarmed, because we are undercover, so with anti-stasi, what you can do is, get yourself in a civilian vehicle, and then you'll be undercover. Now, this doesn't always work exactly how you think it will. This isn't like a shield that will cloak you. There are chances that enemies will spot you in this van. And that's why if you go off the road too far, then you get spotted and then the van gets tagged or the vehicle you're in will get tagged. And then any people you drive past military-wise will just instantly start shooting at you. The other way this happens is if your aggression, as you can see at the top as well, NATO and CSAT aggression are both on low at the moment. If we're to get that any higher, each stage it goes up, the more likely they are to spot you in your unmarked vehicle. All right. So we're going to have to watch out for that sort of thing as we're going about the island, making sure we don't actually get this vehicle spotted because we do need to get back. So just filled it up. Bit of fuel in there, lovely jubbly. And what we'll do is just make our way down around here. Some NATO forces here. But because the aggression is low, we can drive straight past these guys and they won't spot us basically, which is good. He's got a nice rifle. Anyway, let's not get distracted right now. 
if we need to, we can hit these guys up on the way back. For now, we want to go over to this airdrop area. Why is undercover off? I don't quite know why that happened then, but... Alright. The roadblock detected us somehow. It's alright. Keep moving. Take care of them guys on the way back. Okay, we apparently destroyed that roadblock. Quite sure how, but we did, apparently. So, uh, da -da -da -da. control G. Yeah, that's right. Throw that over there. Should hear a plane in a second. Just one? No, two. Right. Go on, drop right for me, right here. What I like to see. That's what I like to see, my friend. Let's get that loaded up. And where's the other one? Be honest. That up. Right then. Let's get out of here quick. I say get out of here quick. I'm gonna have to take on these bloody this roadblock down here now. There you go, guys. Get out. Fucking pricks. Shooting at the van. Come on, boys. Let's get in the forest. We'll come back for the van in a minute. Alright, let's start moving up. Push up a little bit. Night period. Lovely. Oh, mate. We <laughs> seriously need some sights. <laughs> oh, I've got an injury. Paul's just been hit. Oh boys, what are you doing? Let's give them some orders. I am still getting the hang of AI orders again, so bear with me after over the uh, first couple of episodes with the AI. <laughs> Move, move, move. Find cover again. Come on. Where'd you go, boy? Huh? Where you gone? One behind the house over there somewhere. Still got a few down on this road. Oh, that's gonna go. Civilian. I went bloody miles. Now we've got an arm on you, lad. I've I've forgotten how challenging this game is. I do love it though. I have not played armor in a while. This is uh, it's a bit intense. <laughs> we'll be right. Two, attack the sniper. West. From Diamond. 
Only two of them left by the looks of it, so. Lost men as well, which isn't good. Go on, lad. Nice is them two down. That sniper's still up though, gotta be careful of them. Over by that house somewhere. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sniper's bit on the little fat over there. Might make a push for him. Throwing smoke! Smoke out! Hello, friend. God damn it. MP7 is a shit. <laughs> I mean, they do the job, but we'll have to loot up these guys afterwards and uh, get ourselves a better weapon, I think. Just move down here, try and push the snipers behind this building. That was bloody close, mate. Fuck's that come from? He's behind me. Oh shit. Oh, there he is. Uh, uh. God damn. <laughs> what, he's still behind the building? <laughs> uh, what are we doing, lads? Come on. We're all injured at the moment, which isn't good. More over it. Let's see if we can hit him. Down that wall. Not bloody smoke. Come on. Nice. I think that's pretty much all of them. Probably one straggler left. Six bullets to the head. Bloody hell. This weapon's crap. Give me your sniper, mate. I'll take that instead. <laughs> oh, yeah, still got one alive. That's fine. We'll just pick up all this stuff. And then we'll loot up these bodies, I think. Take all the stuff back to base of us. As I said, once we've got a certain amount of them, they become unlimited use for us, and then we can give them to our AI as well, which is better. These guys shooting from... See him. I'll see him beyond that fence. Medic! We got a man down. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Don't put me in cover, mate. Come on, drag me in there before you get shot. God damn, son. It's that other force that's coming down from the um, resources that we passed. There you go. He's dead. Right, nine. Injured. All right then. Uh, let's just do this quickly. Do this, and then we'll go. We auto rearm me loot. Hopefully, you guys will pick up some new weapons and shit. Stuff a nice little sniper rifle out of that though. <laughs> Probably not going to keep this though. Probably put it in here and then um, grab some more stuff from the other guys. Come on, boys. Hurry up about it. Let's get out of it.
So let's just go for some intel, why not? No NATO convoys driving around. Good intel to find that was, wasn't it? <laughs> let's upgrade our gun, we'll take this. We'll take that. Take all of that. We'll take all of them. GPS, we'll take that. We'll take a radio. job See, this is the long part about it is picking up all this stuff but it is good to pick it up because eventually we'll have a nice little bit of a kit back at home radio I want to pick as many of these six by five mil rounds up as well these mags as these get an unlimited use of them soon as well so I'm just going to seize this quickly while we're at Oh shit. Oh shit, there's a lot of people down there. In that building. Disembark. Copy. Yeah, I just shot that guy and I think... I think they've all given up but one in the back. Which is why now our NATO aggression has gone to very high because I've just killed someone that was basically surrendering. Surrendered. I mean, they all gave up, but they've got no... All their boxes are under the bloody house, aren't they? Which is fun. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Two. Driver, get in that vehicle. Three. Get in that vehicle. Four. Two. Right, then. Fuck out of there. Two, return to formation. Copy that. Nine, return to formation. Stand by. Right, let's go recover that truck and that car. The truck's worth 1,500, so we'll sell that when we get back. Little 4x4 four four we'll just keep as a uh, infantry vehicle if we need it. Ready. Four. Driver, get in that vehicle. Fuck are they shooting from? There's one. interested in the police to be fair. That's a uh, good cargo. Oh shit, yeah. Didn't unload that from the airdrop, did we? Um so five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, get in here. Six, seven, eight, nine. Get in the vehicle. Negative. Still a couple of officers down there, Ready. that's fine. So you Wait. move there. Two. You, move there. Three. You, move there. Oh, 
Nice. Oh, fucking hell, mate. Come on. Lovely. Right then. Successful little mission there. Gain some money and stuff out of that. Some weapons. Let's just quickly do a assistant save on this. And then... Oh, hello. Hello. I hate Car, these bushes. Alright, let's get ourselves a new mission, shall we? Let's go for a... I don't think we'll get another one. No, we didn't. Alright. Go for a supply mission. Luganville, where's that? Here. Right then, let's make a move. So the whole point of doing these deliveries to the towns is to get them on your side. So eventually, when you do enough of these sort of deliveries to a town, you'll get the town on your side, which will give you revenue. It'll also give you more HR, which is good. So obviously recruiting. Not worry about them guys. NATO aggression is still medium, so we need to watch out against roadblocks and stuff. Wait, 10? Where are you? You're all the way up there. Alright, fair enough. Uh, if I go 10 and then hit Y. AI management, garrison units. Garrison U. There you go. He'll know garrison in this area and protect it by himself. Because he wants to be a knobhead. But yeah, goodbye free time. <laughs> I mean, any free time I have now is probably going to go into this. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I would recommend it, especially if you do like the Armour series and you have Armour 3. Definitely jump into this. Alright then, let's get in here. Drop these off. POW rescue. What the hell's that? Oh, radio tower. Don't know about a NATO outpost though. Came across one of them when I was messing around. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright then, well, it's quite a few of these guys. <laughs> Let's pull over here. They are only police officers, so they are less equipped than obviously NATO forces. Let's get everyone out. Start attacking these guys. Clear them out before we drop off the earth, guys. Hello, sir. Jesus. Alright, let's get you guys moving up there. Dude. Move. Reloading. Oh shit. Hit that guy. Alright, I will. <laughs> right. The video. When it's with armor, you get hit once, twice, you're down. That's it. <laughs> oh, fire. What else we got? We get them all? Of them up top end still. Straight past my head then. Civilian. One. Couple more up there. Come on, boys, sort it out. That Seven, attack that rifleman. Front. 
obviously oh bloody hell right so as i was about to say that the ai isn't the greatest all right so if you do have a couple of friends to obviously play this with it will give you an extra hand especially when it's like moving vehicles logistics that sort of thing but ai are very good to have because they are very good at spotting enemy targets for you and then obviously as you can see when you open your map on your tech map they're located in blue So yeah, even if you have got a few friends with you and you are playing this mod, I still would advise taking some AI out with you. One, because it's extra firepower. And secondly, as I said, they are good at spotting. Where you going, buddy? Still three of them up there. Bloody hell. So enemies do have responses as well okay just bear that in mind so while we are attacking these guys they may get some form of reinforcement bloody hell especially nato forces they do send defense groups uh counter attack groups things like this so you have to watch out for that as well but if we could take out most of these guys now let's move you up there if we can take most of these guys out now when we drop these supplies off it's going to be piece of piss for us so I'd rather do it now than get jumped with the supplies out put the men down I'm injured as well uh, still a few of them up there on this building so let's push up a bit with the boys these bastards one there in the field shit there's another one on my left I'm not in cover this is stupid yep <laughs> Called it. <laughs> well, I didn't quite go to plan, but it's all right because the supplies are safe. We've taken out the majority of people in that town now, so it should be a breeze when it comes to dropping these supplies off. That van's unmarked as well, still. So, should be fine on that front. Right then. Let's just back. We'll unload these supplies now. Shouldn't get any sort of resistance from anyone. Nice. Yep, right, nice. They dropped out now. And then we should have some countdown timer that starts. And then we just got to stay in the area for a set amount of time. It shouldn't be too difficult. As I said, we're taking out most of the opposition now, so it should be a breeze. We'll do. Just uh, we'll loot up while we're waiting around as well. Running low on ammo. Lovely jubbly. So now they're on the way back. All we need to do is get back ourselves. Happy days. Got two little missions complete today. Not a bad little run. Wait. So where's the truck gone for fuck's sake? Dude, Six. move, move here. On the way. Two, move up. On the way. 
five, disembark. Ready. Solid copy. I'm out. Two, disembark. Copy. No can do. Ready. Three, four, disembark. Roger that. Waiting. Out of ammo. Alright, let's unload. Waiting. All of this as well. And we'll put that in the garage. Put that in the garage. Guys, that is there still. I don't know what the fuck he's doing with his life. Two, three, four, five. Got a map. That's this. Garrison units. Garrison these guys. Up in our resources. So there's five of them up there now. And then I need to go and collect fuckhead. Oh fucking hell, mate. Hehehehe. <laughs> I'm wondering what's taking him so fucking long. Alright. Easily solved, though. Alright, well. It's just uh, the poison tow ropes. I'll attach them to this car and we'll just tow it out of it. be a lot easier. Six. Driver, get into that vehicle. Negative. Six. Board that vehicle. Will yeah, well, that's not going to work, is it? Go around this way. Might be the trick. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, well, it worked. <laughs> Alright, nice. So we actually made it back. With all our supplies, mission successful again. That's nice. We've done two missions today. Successfully. Did lose a few men, but it's going to happen in guerrilla warfare, isn't it? I don't think there's anything in that one, but this one there should be some stuff. Lovely job. Let's just double check this quickly. No, right, so put this in the garage. And then uh, get everyone out of this. Come on, lads, hurry up. Right, put this in the garage. Nice. Now restore everyone. Lovely jubbly. Alright, so two, three, and six. I'm going to send you up there as well. Uh, why? Pop you in there. There's now eight of them up there. Lovely. Alright, not a bad day's work today. So let's uh, make sure we save this. So we've got a HQ set up. We do have one set of resources now as well. We do have this POW rescue that we can go and attend. But. It is at an outpost, so I don't know how heavily guarded that is. But I think getting this town on our side and getting this set of resources would be good for us. That would get our HR and our money up. And then we've got a nice little area here. Set a roadblock here, roadblock here. We even set a roadblock on here. Then that way we're covered on all our roads coming in this area. So, we'll sort that out in the next episode. Thank you for joining me today. Just want to give a quick shout out to our channel members. Mega Hoof, Mary G, Alti, and Nectar940, Phoenix, Sam, Carbe, and Lieutenant Dan. Thank you very much for your extra and ongoing support. It's always appreciated. If you want to join them, you can do. Head over to this channel, hit that join button, and see what perk suits you best. It all goes back into the channel, gives you all a better viewing experience. But, of course, if you want to support me in another way, you can do simply by liking, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell. And that way, you'll stay up to date with all the latest content over on the channel. Until next time, see ya.